All right, we're back doing a middle class magic deck tech. And uh, this time, it is shrines. A lot of them. So shrines originally came out in Kamigawa block with mm-hmm. the Hamden series, which were weird enchantments that were, that were legendary and required you to have multiple uh, different ones to mm-hmm. increase the effect. But of course, now they've printed more shrines, mm-hmm. still at Uncommon. M21. But uh, with different names, still legendary, but with similar things. And a lot cheaper. Yeah, and uh, a lot lower on the curve, so a lot more castable. Mm. So this is a five color shrine stack. And uh, they all happen to be at Uncommon, so perfect for middle class yes. magic. <laughs> Very beautiful. So of course we have the four Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Which, uh, so this one is the weird one in which it cheapens the cost of an activated ability that uh, taps things down. Six so normal. Once you get it low enough, it's uh, just one mana to tap all your opponent's things every turn. Mm-hmm. And they can't attack or block that way. Yep, gets cheaper for each shrine you control. <laughs> like a lot of these cards care yes. about shrines you control, obviously. And then, at, uh, and that of course is a one mana shrine, which uh, we didn't have before. Yep. Then we have a two mana shrine, which is also new, Sanctum of Stone Fangs. And uh, this one drains your opponents for X uh, life, where X is the number of mm-hmm. shrines you control. Which, uh, yeah, so slowly whittles mm-hmm. them down and uh, gives you a nice, nice life total to work with. Insane in multiplayer, I just realized, because it's each opponent. Yes, it is Oof. each opponent, <laughs> but I think you gain X life as well. It's not uh, more life, yeah. like an uh, older oh, yeah, you're that right. you do. You're correct. Uh, and then in the three drops, we have four Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, the one that really makes this deck work, mm. because it adds a whole bunch of mana based on the number of shrines you have of uh, any color of your choice, mm-hmm. which is very helpful when you're trying to cast uh, five different colors. Yeah. Then we have three Sanctum of the Shattered Heights. This one also has an activated ability, but it always costs one and makes you discard a land. And then it deals damage to... Or shrine. Uh, land or shrine. Uh, or land or shrine, right. So you can discard extra copies of shrines or uh, lands you have. And it deals X damage to target creature or player. Or creature or planeswalker. Creature planes walker, yeah. sorry. So uh, just make sure that your opponent doesn't really get to keep things on the board. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then we go to uh, one of the actual old ones. The Honden of mm-hmm. Infinite Rage. Back when they were Hondens. Which, uh, <laughs> this one. Three mana. And it uh, deals damage to target creature or player, which is any target now, Mm -hmm. in newer wordings, and uh, equal to the number of shrines you control. And that just happens at the beginning of your upkeep, so you can't choose when, but yes, pretty good. Can't choose when, but it does hit players, so Mm -hmm. tied with stone fangs will quickly whittle down your opponent. Yeah. Then we have two copies of Honden of Knight's Reach. This one uh, makes each of your opponents discard a card for each shrine you control, so... If you land this with a curve, mm-hmm. they don't have a hand left when you get a turn. And they game. never really get to. <laughs> yeah. They're, and at that point, they're at top yeah. deck mode. Yeah. Then we also have two copies of Honden of Cleansing Fire. This one uh, gains us two life for each shrine we control. So it's just a way to help keep our life total afloat as Stabilize. we slowly assemble our shrines. Mm-hmm. And then we have three Sanctum of Clean Water, or Calm Waters. <laughs> and this one, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, mm-hmm. you draw X cards and discard... Uh, well, you X, discard one. Yeah, draw X cards where X is the number of shrines you control, and then discard a card. Mm-hmm. So as long as you have more than one, it uh, is pure card mm-hmm. advantage. It's also, uh, before you go on, uh, it is worth noting these old ones trigger at the beginning of your upkeep, and these new ones trigger at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, which is actually kind of interesting. It is kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, for the mana one, it make, definitely makes sense. Yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. but they all, all the ones that do that seem to do that, like this one as well. And uh, this one is also important because it is a May, so you mm-hmm. don't have to worry yeah. about decking yourself. Yeah. With that one, at least. <laughs> then we have three copies of Hunden of Life's Web. Uh, this one makes a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit token that does not have flying for each shrine you control. Right. It's the weird Kamigawa spirit. Victims. Which, uh, <laughs> we yes. call them victims. <laughs> and then we have two copies of Hunden of Seeing Winds. This one, of course, is five mana, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card for your shrine you control. This one is not a may, so it mm. can put you on a timer. And then to ha- uh, help cast our spells, we have four mana morphos, because 
five colors. Perfect filtering. Yeah. And uh, it replaces itself. Mm -hmm. And then we have four chromatic spheres, which uh, requires a little bit more work, but uh, is also a one drop, which is nice, and filters colors and draws a card to replace itself. Mm -hmm. And then for lands, <laughs> we have three story. frontier biovac, because those are our three main colors, green, blue, and red, have the better mm -hmm. trends, so more common ones. Then we have one vivid crag, of course, is comes. These all come in tapped, but uh, they can provide a little bit of uh, color filtering early Two before we get the, yeah. before we can hopefully find a better option. Before yeah. they stop being vivid. Yes, before they become just basically a worse. Crag, thing. grove, <laughs> and creek. <laughs> So we have two of the Vivid Grove, which is our green, which is one of our main colors, and one Vivid Creek again. And then we have four Gemstone Mine. This only works three times, but uh, provides mana of any color, mm -hmm. which is great for five color deck. Yeah. And then the card that doesn't make sense at Uncommon, City of Brass, <laughs> uh, deals one damage to you, but uh, adds one mana of any color when you tap it. Yep. Best so, land in the format. Best land in the format. And then for basics, we have three forests, Two plains, an island, a swamp, and two mountains. Yeah. All right. So, seems kind of dirtily, and I can't wait to see it in action. <laughs> so, we'll see you back with some more stuff. Bye! Bye.